Hello and welcome to another episode of Steel First Speaks. Today we are looking at Kasai with my first look uh, deck list with things I'm trying and things I think are interesting and things I think people should consider. Um, so this is what I've thrown together for Kasai. Obviously, as always, the link is in the description below. And if you like my content, please do like and subscribe to the channel. The stats tell me that over 60% of the people who watch videos are not subscribed. Please do not be that person. The subscriptions are what really makes my content creator ego go. So, you know, give me a bit of love and I'll keep giving you more videos. So anyway, new Kasai is really interesting. I really like the free weapons thing. I really like the ability to banish cards. Um you know, to give threatened gold. I like how it slows you down, but I also like its interaction with Nourishing Emptiness. Um, I've gone for Crown of Dominion. I figure if you're going to be making gold anyway, you may as well start with the ability to cash in. And maybe if you don't feel like cashing in, you can always save that gold to raise an army later on. Uh, Grains of Blood Spill is just amazing to make Vigor tokens. And the other two equipments kind of speak for themselves. Valiant Dynamo is disgusting. Gorganian Tomes in there. If you play it, you draw a card... Your weapon attacks cost one less. I put in one agile engagement just to get you some late game go again. Um, but I don't want, I, I just want to try it really. Uh, Blade Flurry is fantastic. Plus four, zero for four. Amazing. Blade Runner gets you go again. And boost your next weapon attack. Sounds amazing to me. Um, commanding performance, arsenal destruction is brilliant. Uh, remember, like this buffs the first warrior attack. But if any sword hits or anything else hits, then you're getting the bonus. Um, in the swing is just amazing, zero for three. Um, money where your mouth is, just to threaten a bit of gold generation if you really need it. Um, it can force them to block if they're worried about raising an army. Nourishing emptiness because you can play three, so why the hell wouldn't you? I mean, come on, like you're, what are you doing? Like you banish two red and yellow cards from your graveyard. You can play all three of these in the game. I just don't know why you wouldn't. Um, slice and dice is probably one of the most efficient buffs for weapons. Uh, while also being a good blue. Uh, Spoils of War to make copper, which you can then use for blood on your hand, on her hands, um, just as another like sort of late game threat or buy you time for raise an army. Cash in to either spend the gold or raise an army to spend the gold. Might drop down to like two of these or three of these, you know, and just put in some of these other cards and stuff. Uh, run through to get go again and give plus damage. Seems great. Shift the tide of battle. Just great as well if you've buffed a sword you get an agility token uh draw swords is expensive but it can cycle itself so it's not always terrible um but it's it's mostly in there as a blue and i'll figure out if i need it or if it's something else later on and this is good enough to test glint and hit and run seem normal um iron song response alpha blood sink below stroke of foresight if you need d reacts if you're playing it's a heavy and attack reaction focused deck you can play fatal engagement i really like that with nourishing emptiness as well just in case they have d-reacts uh stroke of force that some response just for a more aggro matchup and that's really i mean that's really a simple breakdown of where we're going i mean i don't how to explain it in more detail kasai is a very simple play pattern in my mind i'm drawing cards where possible i'm using centauri sabers where possible i'm going to trigger this ability where possible to get gold and then I'm going to just try and outvalue my opponent with really good attack reactions. So, I mean, if we look at the basic facts of what I've got, right? I have 9, we have 9, we have 12, we have... This gives agility, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22 ways to give my sword go again. So that's 22 turns of go again. That's pretty solid. I have attack reactions, lots that give buffs, most of them to my second weapon, but that's okay. Um, plenty of ways to get damage through. And then I have all of these options for late game things that I can take out and add in. So even if I do say, okay, we're starting off with an assumption that we're playing an aggro game and this is going to not go to the late game. So I drop those two and I just keep the cash ins. In that case, really, I'm going to go for probably either out for blood or iron so response so i'm probably just going to put these in right and that's just going to be my aggro package then for that deck right so if i want to go in with more aggression i'm just going to come up with these this is kind of the threat um so that's my kasai deck list honestly it didn't take me that long to explain compared to others but that's mostly because it's not using complicated play patterns i mean if you're sitting there and thinking you know what should i do 
Well, obviously you've got big spoils of war turns. You want an arsenal and attack reaction so that you can guarantee your weapon hits so you get some copper. You've got big cash-in turns, which are going to make your weapons free, so you want to arsenal something that gives go again in case you draw a cash-in. You've got blood on her hands. Ideally, I think it's what, you want six copper for this, but really you can do it with three or four and it's still good. Um, you know, I wouldn't be too worried about that. Um, the main problem with um, doing it with, like... Um, sorry, you need three copper, don't you, right? You don't need any more than that. But if you've got... Eh, I mean, the, the problem is, right, you can do it with six. Six is, like, the optimal, right? But I, I was going to say three is good enough. Like, if you're just doing an extra weapon swing, that can often be good enough. Especially... Especially if it's building you a gold that you can then use later on. So I wouldn't be too worried about using this with three or four. Though obviously six is better. And I mean, in terms of if you do put in raise an army, which I think you should do in a lot of matchups, probably just taking back out a cash in, for example, because you don't want to spend your gold too much. Um, like, again, two or three is probably enough. Like, four is pushing it, but I don't think you need any more than that. I mean, the whole point of getting these tokens is that your opponent probably isn't going to want to waste time killing them. You don't want to spend it too early in the game. You want to spend it when they've got low life, and then you want to spend it in a way that lets you use these to attack two or three times. And what that will do for you is basically create enough pressure. They won't be able to attack back and kill them, which I think is what the main aim here. It's not to use them early game as... Well, not early games, you won't have gold, but it's not to use them like even in the early late game where your opponent can just take the time to kill them. It is important to use them at a point where your opponent is running low on resources, and it will really help you finish off and push over the map, the game. So that's it, really. I mean, I think I'm going to wrap up there. I think this is a very interesting deck list. Um, give it a try. Let me know your thoughts. As obviously, it's the first pass deck list, and I'm not a Kasai specialist. I've just gone scouring the internet and pulled together something based on what I've seen other people are testing and one or two games myself and put this together. But I think it's a good enough point to explain how Kasai works to new players and give people a bit of an introduction to how the deck is going to work. And if this deck worked for you, why don't you let me know? And I will be sure to do more of these because I am trying to do more deck techs now. They are videos that people do like to watch. They do like to see that I am engaging with. One of the reasons to do it is that people see that I'm engaging with the game and I'm engaging with different classes because I think a lot of people think that I honestly just do drama episodes and I do controversy and things like that. I am actually constantly playing Fab and I'm actually constantly trying new heroes and doing new things. So it is not just the case that I only ever do um, Here Comes LSS and is an LSS doing that good or bad thing um so i thought i'd do more deck techs and this is part of a new series that we're just going to do uh, but i think my main hero for this set is probably going to be victor i think he's really interesting so i'm going to be doing more videos on him as i refine a list but other people have said hey what are your thoughts on kasai and this is kind of where i think kasai should end up you know lots of go again still a list that's not too different from old kasai but with a lot of these new power cards that came in heavy hitters to really make sure that the weapon swings connect um and stuff like grains of blood spill really going to get kasai's power level pushed over the mark um so that's kind of where i think we end up and i'll leave you there thanks a lot for watching and i'll speak to you all soon